this is Kamari and welcome to another Synfig tutorial. So today we're going to do things a bit differently. This tutorial will just be me showing you a breakdown of how I did this. Okay, so the first thing that I did was to create some guidelines here. And uh, I knew that I wanted a one point perspective. So everything, that's everything going towards one point. Uh, so I drew my guides here and I literally used the spline tool and just created multiple um, lines that goes all the way around. Now, an easier way that you could have done this or that you can do this if you actually want to create what I've created here you could use the gradient tool, right? Make sure that you're on the um, the conical gradient, by the way. Then in its properties, you just right click where it says gradient, convert and click on stripes. Then you have a bunch of lines here. I mean, you can't see it yet, but if you open up this gradient layer here, and let's say you could put maybe 20 for the stripe count, and then you'll just turn down the opacity to about 0.2 then you know you'd see everything going towards one one vanishing point right there also we could turn on the symmetry here to add even more lines there okay and then if you wanted to create your um your buildings you just create your shape here so this would for example be the first the front part of the building and what you want to do is just make sure you line it up with two of these lines so the bottom part here let's say we line it up with this line that goes here and then the top part we want to make sure that that is lined up with any one of these lines here so maybe this one here okay then now to create the back part you just control c control v so we duplicate that and move these points down here and just decrease the points here make sure that what you want to do is make sure that the points are following this line here so just move this up like so and then for this one of course we want to make sure that it's following this line so just shift and move that up like so and all you do is just change the shade of this and boom you have a building going towards that one vanishing point there so that's pretty much how i started off this thing so let me just remove that Okay, minus me actually using the spline tool, right? But that's how you could do it. Far easier than what I did here. I just like to do things difficult sometimes. It's just the way my brain thinks. Um, okay, so with that done, once I added my guidelines, I started adding my buildings. So I added this one here. And as I stated before, make sure that the top and bottom parts are following that line there. And I just added a bunch of other buildings there. Uh, one behind there and a couple well two buildings right here or one building right here in the front now the next thing that I did was to move and I keep in mind that for some of the, these buildings uh, notice that it gets cut off here but I actually drew the building um, further up so that when I move and I placed all of these inside of a group so when I move the group down like so using the origin point here, we can see the top part of the building there. So that's all I did there. And then I added the planets and the, what would be the moon here. Okay. And then after I did all of that, I click on the origin point here and just go back to the zero point um, because that's where we all start. So. Where it says offset you just go back to zero zero and we're back at the beginning here and then i added my cube train here i call it the, the cube train but it's really like a, a cube taxi um and it's also following the vanishing point there so let me if i should turn off all of these here it's following along the contours of those lines and i have these two specifically for for the taxi here, just to differentiate it from these other lines and uh, to help me not to get confused. And to do the animation, all I did was to move it back on these lines, make sure that this bottom part here 
is touching um, this line here and the top part is touching this one here and I moved it back to start and then I moved it forward by adding a keyframe and as it moves forward all I did was just to shrink it let me actually click on that all I did was just to shrink it like so and position it making sure that the top part is within the bones of this line and the bottom part is within the bones of um, that line right here so like this and actually let me do a quick animation here so let's say we're here I'm gonna do this in reverse let me just turn on my anime button here and uh, move this there make sure I add a keyframe for my scale tool here and come all the way back here and move it here, scale it up to make sure that it starts out looking all large, like so. Oops, that's too large. Let me scale this back down, like so, and move it up, like that. So when we play it back like this, we get it going. Um, in that straight line like that. Well, it's not really a straight line, but you get what I'm saying. It's going into um, the direction that it's supposed to go in correctly because it's following that, it's going towards the vanishing point, okay? So the guidelines do help. Now, let me jump over here into the final product. So after I did this, then I just went ahead and added some color and please note that I didn't even um, create like a color swatch or anything. I just added some random colors. Um, so it might, well, it, it's not that um, properly colored, but uh, for the purposes of this tutorial, it works. And then what I did was to add a keyframe to the overall group of my camera moving from the top here all the way down to the streets. Oh, I also added these arrows here and the animation of the taxi coming in. So when I move down, let me scroll this over, and we have the taxi coming in there until it gets to that point there, and then it floats down to the floor. Okay, and that to do that, that's pretty simple. All right, all I did was to move because these are made up of different rectangles, right? So all I did was just to select these points and move them down um, over the, the lines. So let me actually turn off a bunch of these so you can see what I'm talking about. Guys, so yeah, so I just moved down the lines while still following the contours of the lines there, all right? So as it moves down, like so, notice that it's still going towards that vanishing point right there, okay? So yeah, that's pretty much how I did this. Well, that's it for me. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I will see you in the next one.